Hey there students! In this video, I'm going to give you a quick explanation of the nuanced differences between pilgrims, Puritans, and separatists. These are topics that can confuse some students of U.S. history. First, I want to give a quick shout out to Miss Bacon's AP U.S. History class at Denmark High School in Georgia. I know that's a little bit confusing. It's not in Denmark, it's in Georgia. The state, not the country, just to be clear. And I tell you what, I love bacon. And if you love bacon too, go ahead and give this video a like. If you're vegan, go ahead and dislike it. It's okay. It still helps my engagement. So let's go back a few hundred years and talk about the pilgrims. Now the pilgrims, I've got quotes around this because this is a colloquial term. These are specifically the settlers who landed at the Plymouth Colony in 1620, and we tend to refer to them as the pilgrims. Now, these aren't the only people who ever made a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage is just a journey for religious purposes. Those of you who've read the Canterbury Tales, they are making a pilgrimage to the shrine of St. Thomas a Becket. Muslims are strongly encouraged, if they can, to make a pilgrimage at some point in their life to the holy city of Mecca. So the pilgrims who came to the colonies looking for religious freedom, which we go into in other videos, they get this title because that's just what we call them. Now, what the real question is here is Puritans versus Separatists. And this is where we get into, okay, they've got something in common, but there's also something different. Now, I've got a deeper explanation of all this in my video series on religious freedom in colonial New England, if anybody wants to look at that. Now, First of all, Calvinism. This is a common thread, okay? So pilgrims, Puritans, Separatists, all of these settlers in colonial New England were followers of John Calvin. And his reformed theology that called for big changes, all right? Massive changes, as they say in Britain, right? Massive. Massive. So they wanted, for example, any kind of art, statues, anything like that. Whitewash the walls, burn everything that is a graven image or idolatry or anything like that. They wanted more of a reformation than the Church of England was going to provide. Remember that Henry VIII, he wanted to get a divorce. He really didn't have a problem with the Catholic Church. He loved Catholic doctrine. He defended it uh, before he needed a divorce. And so the Puritans and Separatists, they thought that the Church of England was too Catholic. And so as far as that goes, we want to note the similarity here, that Puritans and Separatists shared a commitment to Calvinist theology and principles, and also to all of the funny clothes that they wore and all of that kind of stuff. You can't really distinguish a Puritan from a Separatist by looking at them because they all adopted the Calvinist mode of dress. Now, the difference being is that the Puritans, they believed that they wanted to reform the Church of England or purify it, okay? So imagine putting the church into a Brita pitcher or something like that. If the church were water, we want to purify it. That we want the Church of England to become more like the Calvinist would like to see it, which of course was the objective um, in the English Civil War of the Puritan faction. So as far as that goes, then we go to the Separatists. Now the Separatists, they wanted to separate from the Church of England. So they believed that the Church of England was just beyond redemption and that there was no hope for it and the only way to have a pure church in the Calvinist tradition was to completely separate from the Church of England. So remember, their doctrines are the same. They both love John Calvin and his theology and principles. It's just a matter of their approach, whether they wanted to purify the Church of England or separate from it. So as far as that goes, while we're talking about the pilgrims, the pilgrims were not Puritans. They were separatists. They were members of this more radical faction of the Calvinist movement in England. So as far as that goes, let's do a quick review. Puritans. These were Calvinist settlers who sought to reform or purify the Church of England. Isn't it great that we're speaking about all these words in English? It should be very easy to remember. The Separatists, they sought to separate from the Church of England. And let's remember that the Pilgrims, these settlers who settled in the Plymouth Colony in 1620, they were 
separatist, okay? They wanted to separate from the Church of England. I hope that was helpful. There are plenty of other helpful lectures if you'll subscribe to my channel. And of course, feel free to keep in touch on social media. It is always a pleasure.